penalty. George Burley to Mills. Burley going forward, taking Perryman with him, leaving space in the middle there. Here's Sharkey. Mills again. Wymark's over the far side. Can Lambert get this one? He can't. Early days yet. And Neighbour gets it away. Jones is on the right. Naylor's out here too. Now Jones goes into the middle. Now ducks out to the right again. Armstrong is up there for the chip. This is uh, Neighbour. What a lovely ball. What a great ball. And what a good bit of challenging by George Burley that stopped Armstrong scoring there. And that was the Burley that stopped the first goal of the season here at Portman Road, I'm sure. A lovely chip forward by Naylor. And a good ball from Neighbour. He played it back unselfishly and only Burley stopped the goal. Sharkey down to Beatty. Well, they can't blame the turf at this stage of the season. Armstrong with John Walk. Armstrong again. That's good play. Now Jimmy Neighbour can go forward and pull one back well with Jones coming to the near post. Neighbour on his own. Armstrong. It was a good shot. And it was a very good opportunity for him to open up his league account. He worked it well on the right. He put the Jimmy Neighbour in a very good position. One wondered, should he have attacked that near post and pulled one back? But he seemed to have closed it up, then set one up for Armstrong, and over it went. Weimark with Young, and it's Torbert finding Mills. The Callister comes to him. Here's Birchin. Osgood going over with him. Burley supporting. Weimark's going to get up. It's a hard one for him, though. Lambert. Weimark again. And that's a corner. Well, that was quite nicely worked and pushed around on the right. And then, of course, once it's in the air and Weimark is anywhere near it, there's always danger. And that's a powerful one. Running in well. Keith Birch in there, made a lot of ground. Good, clean contact. Just needed to get over the top of it a fraction more. That would have been in the back of the net. Burley and Jones. And the throw into Spurs with five minutes left of the first half. And here's Jones, a good run. Jones coming again, chance to open the account here. It's a goal. Beautifully played. Couple of tackles going in there, which really Jones should never have got through, but he did. And that's a fine goal. Coming in from the right, it doesn't seem possible he can get through all these blue shirts. But Burley can't get it off him. Ward can't get it off him. It bounces fortunately for him, and Cooper is left with no chance. Beatty with a kick. Birchin trying to get behind Osgood. Up goes Weimart with Young. Osgood. And we're going to have a free kick with... Willie Young leaning on Trevor Wyman. Well, that's a good angle for a Kevin Beatty drive, or indeed on the right for a Brian Talbot drive. But anyhow, all the Spurs players are being pulled back. Mills and Beatty on the ball. We've got Tashaki over to the left. Mill's going to take it. Here comes Burley. And he's coming forward. Yes. And a bit of fortune there for Ipswich. But Mick Lambert buries it and brings the game level. Well, let's have a look at the free kick again. Because uh, the Spurs player's turning towards the linesman. Now, did this go off a Spurs player? It almost certainly did. 
as Burley drove it, it ricocheted off a Spurs player to the feet of Lambert, who was in an offside position. The linesman's flag temporarily went up, it came down again. Spurs protested, but the referee said that's a goal, and it's 1 1. Lambert now, change flanks. Perchin running well, Osgood's behind him. Mills inside, there goes Lambert. McAllister's trying to cover. It's behind. The build-up is sharper, they open Spurs up once or twice, and the crowd up. Up goes penalty. Flicked on by Weimark and Mills in a great position. Not such a good one from Beatty. Coates with Pratt pushing forward there into midfield. On his left he's got Jimmy Neighbour, but that's a good ball to Armstrong. Good shot too. Well, that was a good move. A couple of passes out of defence into attack. Good run by Coates. Good move into a position by Pratt. He finds uh, Armstrong with the ball the wrong side of the defender and a shot across the face of goal. And looking for Lambert. Talbot snapping into that one. Virgin. Talbot again. Must be a chance. Oh, by Dez. Sharkey. Good bit of play by Barry Danes, getting some uh, congratulations from his defenders there, and you can understand why. The bounce going for Torbert as he really went aggressively into a couple of tackles. It looked as if the goal was open uh, for him, but Danes was out very fast and blocked it. Good bit of play. Still three men uh, up there to aim for, but they haven't had the service that they had in the first half. Naylor looking for Jones. There's an elbow there, the linesman indicates. And the elbow belongs to Chris Jones, so the free kick belongs to Ipswich. There's a whistle in the crowd, which is a blooming nuisance. Weimark turning well against Osgood. What a lovely bit of play. Weimark coming again. Good save by Danes. Burley can't get it quite but the continuous round of applause further there for Trevor Weimark what control as he turns away from Osgood looks for a man to pass who can't find it has a go himself and only the fact that Danes came out to narrow the angle keeps the scores level Clive Woods looking for Lambert Woods is free Lambert checking inside. McAllister wasn't too full, but he gets one over. Here's Burchin. Yes! And suddenly, two minutes from the end, Keith Burchin makes a mark on the game, and it could be the final mark. And Spurs will be kicking themselves for that one. A simple throw in. Lambert is allowed to get away with it, coming past McAllister, comes across the face of the goal. And 19-year-old Keith Burton is in on that one very fast. Gets a fortunate bounce and tucks it away. It's 2-1. And it's too late probably for Spurs to do anything about it. First goal of the season. And the man who hopes he'll fill the role that uh, David Johnson filled for the last two or three years has started in a very, very good way indeed. Armstrong going. Sharkey's got a bit of bite, so too has Beatty. And Spurs really must be kicking themselves the way a point seems to have slipped away out of this. And 
Beattie, of course, now happy to take all comers on. We've got less than a minute on the clock, injury time on top of that. And the whole picture suddenly changed by perhaps a little bit of casualness and hard work and a touch of skill from the Ipswich forward. And now it's Ipswich who can afford to take their time. but it's still Lambert who's free and in fact he was held back there and a free kick has been given we've had the 90 minutes and we might get another drive from BT. We might get a chip from Sharky too. And here's Mick Lambert. It's in. What an incredible finish. Poor Barry Danes. He looked as if he kept a pretty clean sheet. He had an unfortunate one when Lambert put one in to equalise. Burchin tucked another past him. And then here's the third in injury time. The free kick quickly pushed to Lambert. He was not well marked. They seemed to have it covered, but it creeps in on the near post. And that's 3-1, and it's all over. 